Hi, Kate from Mutsi here, and today we're going to go over the Marketplace Insights, the 2022 Holiday Trends Report from Etsy, and I'm just going to, we're going to go through this article. So if you haven't had time to read this yourself or look at it, really go in depth, I recommend just putting this video on in the background while you're working. I'm going to read verbatim what's here and also add my little bit of opinion and uh, little tips and tricks and things that I've learned and noticed on Etsy um, in the past few years, just adding to the report a little bit. But we're going to try and stay on uh, task and go through this report with you. Now, why do I love reading uh, these reports and bringing them to you? Well, first of all, if you're struggling with coming up with product ideas, any of these uh, trend reports that Etsy puts out are a great resource. So they tend to focus on not necessarily what's naturally trending in the world, which they certainly do, but they are primarily focusing on in these trend reports what they're going to be talking about in their marketing, what they're going to be um, highlighting, uh, putting out their featured and stuff like that. And I'm not saying this is your goal of creating a product based on the trend report, but what you can do is kind of ride on those coattails of what Etsy's marketing is. And then that can ultimately lead shoppers to your shop or to your listings. So that's just one way that I like to use these um, trend reports. And then also you're kind of getting an idea of the colors and themes that Etsy is going to be incorporating in their branding. And thus you can kind of take those nods and incorporate them in your holiday branding. If you're coming up with new banners or creating holiday themed <clears throat> photo photos for your listings, uh, for your social media marketing, etc. You can kind of take some of the inspiration and ideas from Etsy in their reports to take and draw into yours. You don't have to copy. It's never about that. It's just taking little bits and pieces that maybe apply to your shop or you think might be useful and using that as an inspiration. Um, I would never take this report and then to make my decisions, it would be kind of like, where can I add it to my decisions? And then um, also, if none of these things make sense to you and you're like, yeah, I don't have time to do any of this stuff. I'm just trying to fulfill orders every day. Well, look, just keeping up with what's happening and understanding what's going on on Etsy, what they're featuring, what they're focusing on, what they're talking about, what they're putting out there. That's never going to be something that's not helpful. Like you, you having just this knowledge is always going to serve you at some point down the road, be it if your shop suddenly slows down or you're not understanding why a certain item isn't selling anymore. You know, just understanding where these trends and ideas are going. You can always have that to, uh, keep in your mind at any time. So let's get into it. We're going to just read through this article. Um, they are saying, set up your shop to shine in this festive season with the help of our annual holiday trend report based on industry forecasting and Etsy search data. And I absolutely love the fact that Etsy does these trend reports based on actual search data. So yes, there is a lot of speculation and just kind of seeing where the wind is blowing and uh, um, coming up with ideas for trends. But then a lot of it is also based on actual search data where they can see things growing year over year and what they expect to continue to grow this coming holiday season. And you'll see right in this top banner, the featured colors or this, the emerald green, which was the Etsy color of the year. And then this uh, blush pink style. So those are the colors that they want to really, uh, they're going to be featuring in their marketing and branding this year for sure. 
Now, this article came out in summer, so you just have to kind of ignore those parts, but definitely this is very relevant starting uh, now. So it may still be summer in much of the world, but the holidays will be here before you know it. After another tumultuous and challenging year, shoppers craving normalcy and community will look to revive and refresh treasured traditions like entertaining at home and gift exchanges. Though many could feel the strain of tighter budgets this season, People want to celebrate and enjoy time together more than ever. Help shoppers make the season feel special, no matter how much they have to spend, with items for meaningful gatherings and thoughtful gift giving. We anticipate themes of gratitude and to permeate the season, with an appreciation for nature playing a key role. While shoppers may prioritize value and one-of-a-kind appeal, they're also looking for some festive fun, Show them how a little sparkle can go a long way when it comes to celebrating in style. We've broken down this year's annual guide by seasonal themes, style, decor, and gifting. For additional information about each major category, check out our recent Marketplace Insights report on 2022 fall trends. Uh, the year-over-year -year increases below were calculated by comparing search volume on Etsy from June through mid-July 2022, the same periods of 2021. Okay, so the uh, few things in here, they are mentioning that people are probably going to be on a little bit of a tighter budget this season than maybe in the seasons past, uh, which it's great that they're acknowledging that, but that doesn't mean that you have to slash your prices or anything like that. To the contrary, you should be offering very specialized items and charging what those items are worth but you maybe can offer some smaller items that maybe are more affordable, but still give a special moment to gifting occasions. So that's what I would take from that. I wonder what they'll mention um, further down in the article. And uh, then they also mentioned the, um, the 2022 fall trends report, uh, which definitely take a look at if you're looking for more hyper-focused into specific categories. So how to use this report. The insights here can inspire you to make updates both big and small. Optimize your shop for the upcoming season by getting ideas for new products, expanding your potential customer base with products that appeal to a wider range of shoppers like mail buyers or customers in other countries, Merchandising your shop for holiday buyers by featuring festive seasonal visuals in your shop graphics, like your shop banner, and listing photographs, including seasonally relevant top search terms in your tags, titles, and descriptions, timing your inventory to take advantage of upticks in relevant searches and in advance of key occasions, and choosing which listings to promote through Etsy ads. Okay, so they have a lot of other ideas and on top of what I suggested this report is useful for. So definitely um, take a look at those key points that they're mentioning because it's not just like they're saying these things to just say these things, that they're telling you how they're going to highlight and showcase and rank items for the holiday season. And they're going to be using all these things to, to do that. Key timing and occasions. Holiday decor shopping typically starts as early as September and picks up in early November, followed by a shift in focus to gift shopping immediately after Thanksgiving uh, in the United States, of course. Aim to get your holiday products out as early as possible in the season to catch the wave of early planners through last minute purchasers. Here are some key dates. So they list a ton of dates. Of course, not every day. Uh, date applies to everyone around the world. So of course, pay mind to the ones that are relevant to your country, your area. Um, the big ones for US Etsy sellers would be Black Friday, of course, Thanksgiving, that that whole Cyber Monday, you kind of all lump that together. Um, and I just want to throw in a quick tip from that I noticed in my shop last year was Yes, Black Friday was huge for shopping, but I noticed a big uptick in sales starting that weekend before Christmas. It was, or excuse me, the weekend before Thanksgiving. 
um, that was when my shop started to really just take off in gift giving sales. Uh, it started to trickle in in the first few weeks of November, but then it just completely exploded that weekend before Thanksgiving. So if you are trying to target that time in particular, I would suggest maybe trying marketing that weekend before, uh, is start maybe if you're running a special, a sale, a pre-sale to black Friday, or you're trying to, uh, promote some items in your shop for gift giving, I would maybe try that weekend before and reach those shoppers that are like, look, I don't want to deal with the chaos of Black Friday. I will pay that. I will miss out on that maybe super sale and just to get everything done before everyone else. So that's just a little tip if you're looking to try something new for uh, the, you know, hol uh, Christmas shopping kickoff, I guess is when you would call it. And then the other holidays listed there. Um, learn when searches for occasions tend to increase peak and taper off here. So they have more information about specific holidays. If you are targeting specific holidays, gift giving, I wouldn't say is targeting a specific holiday as that can be very generalized. But if you have items that are specifically, uh, new year's or specifically Valentine's day or specifically Thanksgiving table, uh, stuff like that. You might want to, uh, check out that link. And again, in the description of this video, you will find, uh, the direct link to this article, and then you can do more digging, uh, more research through the links found in this article as well. Quick tips. Here we go. Number one, extend your holiday sales by stocking festive items soon to reach that early first wave of shoppers. Yes, agreed. You should have your holiday items in. I would say you want to have them all stocked and ready in October at the latest. Earlier is better. We want to take advantage of Google SEO on top of just Etsy SEO and Google SEO takes a little bit of time to simmer and get found. So getting those items in, um, earlier. And if you have holiday items, um, you, and you can have those produced year round, it is definitely better to have those listings available year round, whether you make sales or not, even you may think, oh, the the listing quality score is going to go down while well, you you're better off having that listing existing on the internet for all time for as long as possible than just having it pop in and pop out for seasonals in the sense of being found by Google and Google searches Two, inspire shoppers to re-embrace holiday hosting with enticing serving wares, table linens, and drinking vessels. Tablescapes are a great way to show new items alongside vintage finds frame products as host gifts as well. Okay. So this is, I've been hearing a lot about the word tablescapes from Etsy. Just, it just kind of, I hear it here and there and it popping in. So this is a good one. If you sell anything that can be used for table, um, make videos, show off your tablescapes, put them out there. And I think Etsy is going to be talking a lot about that this year. Three, try on new hues to mix up the holiday, traditional holiday color palette, incorporating trending colors like pinks and emerald green. So there we go. Those are definitely the colors Etsy is going to be focusing on in their marketing. Get eclectic by combining a variety of styles and encouraging shoppers through photos and styling to do the same. Uh, yeah, so they're really encouraging you to go a little bit out there with your photography. Uh, five, tap into wellness themes when offering gifts, including gift sets and items for self-gifting. Yes, the gift box is always a super popular search on Etsy with relative to the number of searches, not a lot of people doing it. So if you can create a gift box of your items, I highly recommend it. And six, consider sustainability and how you can attract environmentally conscious shoppers by using recycled materials, creating items with multiple uses and offering high quality products made to last. Now, as of the day I'm making this video, 
Um, Etsy just released new attributes in their listings. So when you open up to edit your listing, there's the different categories. And then below that is attributes where you can, you know, it's things like size and materials and such. They're adding new sustainability attributes to a lot of listings. So it may be worth going in to your listings and just double checking and seeing if there's any new sustainability options for any of your products that use organic, recycled, um, or natural materials. And just making those sure those things are ticked because I'm sure they're going to um, focus on this uh, as they're saying they are going to be focusing on this and promoting those listings and uh, featuring those listings in search that offer this kind of sustainability by either making it easier for customers to find items that are sustainable versus non you know it's just a good thing to do if you offer s these items and then if you don't maybe if you're trying to think of items to start selling this holiday season maybe look into that direction of things made with organic fabrics or uh, sustainable materials, recycled materials, etc. Style trends. What festive season would be complete without a little sartorial sparkle? Whether the shopper is hosting or attending, the gathering is big or small, or the event is in person or virtual, Buyers may look for a bit of glamour this party season. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Eve present plenty of opportunities for fashion sellers to shine. Glitz and glam, sequins, mesh pave, and shimmering fabrics like satin set to the stage for decadent nights out or in. A 193% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing Latin, black satin dress. Going bold with bright colors, fashionistas have been sporting daring hues all year. Why would they stop for holiday? Uh, expect shoppers to seek out head-turning shades like magenta, emerald green, and other sultry warm jewel tones like yellow topaz or citrine. Berries and navy blues add to the dazzling mix. A 28% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing emerald green velvet dress. Rich textures. A year packed with nubbly surfaces, high boucle, culminates in highly tactile textiles for partying and cozy nights at home by the fire. Think velvet, including crushed varieties reminiscent of 90s grunge, cashmere, Chanel, and sensual satins. A 31% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing velvet jumpsuit. Pajama party. There will always be a place in the season for comfort wear, and after years of living in sweats, shoppers aren't willing to part with the leisure wear that's become an essential part of their wardrobes. Help them freshen pajamas and coordinate sets for the season with festive motif, luxe fabrics, and matching family sets perfect for photo ops like holiday cards. A 1,112% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing preppy pajamas. And I'm just going to highlight this as well. Uh, pajamas is a huge search on Etsy during the holiday season. So if there's a possibility, you can sell some type of uh, pajama set um, that's unique and cool. Uh, you probably will sell quite a few. Uh, practical and pretty, early winter shoppers will often gift themselves a new warm layer or two. Invest in seasonal staples like hoodies and sweatshirts, sweaters and knits, jackets and coats, and knitted cold weather accessories. Try updating in brilliant jewel tones or with creative embellishments like embroidery. A 19% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing embroider hoodie. Festive statements. The holiday season is the time to help shoppers stand out at in-person gatherings and virtual shindigs with pieces that artfully frame the face. Consider chunky chokers and decorative ear, ear dressings that incorporate mix and match styles, metallic details, layering, and statement baubles like oversized cocktail rings drive home the maximalist appeal. 70% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing emerald green necklace. Okay, so the, you may think the jewelry category is like oversaturated, um, but they're still saying, hey, we want more 
jewelry on Etsy. I mean, it's unbelievable, right? Uh, but yes, and they're really pushing this emerald green color. They're, they're really trying to make this the color of the season for sure. Old fashioned formality. We've seen vintage and vintage style brooches grow in popularity over the last few years and anticipate they'll claim another moment to shine this season. Score bonus points among environmentally friendly, environmentally conscious shoppers by reworking found materials or offering once loved gems. Use your photos to capture the various way brooches can be worn on sweaters, coats, dress clothes, bags, or even as a generous gift wrap topper. A 78% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing brooch vintage. Enticing engagements. As we enter prime engagement season, shoppers looking to pop the question or drop a hint, may I rings featuring the colored stones inspiring our larger seasonal palette. Think opal, citrine, topaz, ruby, and sapphire. A 15% year-over-year increase on searches on Etsy containing engagement ring. And find more seasonal fashion, jewelry, vintage, and wedding category trends in the fall report. All right, decor trends. This season's standout looks embrace imperfection as designers and home decorators trade strict style rules for creative personal expression. Entertaining at home, hosting takes center stage as shoppers look to welcome holiday guests and create a multi-sensory multi experience. Help shoppers create an inviting ambiance with cooking and serving utensils, small decor items, and makings of fantastic tablescapes, fancy home bar setups, and even pleasing scents. 29% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing barware. Joyful Shades. This November and December, the year's fascination with bright, cheerful colors could culminate in a mood-boosting burst as magenta and emerald green put a spin on classic color palettes. A 158 year-over-year -year increase in searches on Etsy containing emerald green wall art. Kitchen Keech. Kitchen Kitch, excuse me. <laughs> a seasonal spotlight on hosting and dining could increase demand for playful kitchen items from the past, including retro coffee makers, dinner plates, and cheerful cookie jars. A 31% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing vintage coffee set. And this has been mentioned um, also several places that I hear and watch Etsy and see their content. So they've been talking a lot about these kinds of things. Uh, nature themes. So with so much comfort found in the great outdoors and even in backyards, we anticipate shoppers will heavily incorporate rustic touches into their homes this season, offer ideas to bring nature in with botanical details, dried flowers, branches, and woodland motifs. Think mushrooms and majestic creatures, including larger scale animals like bears, moose, and deer. 56% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing branch chandelier. Formal fun. We could see a return to more formal gatherings, but infused with warmth and coziness. Home shoppers help shoppers play up the appeal of dinner parties with fancy dishes and silverware, eclectic glassware, and custom details. Table linens, chargers, and personalized napkin holders elevate seasonal meals. So 108% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing table napkin. Refined rustic tablescapes. It's tablescapes. Again, this tablescapes it keeps coming up. Uh, the season's standout tablescapes will pull their palette from nature. Think warm ochres, olive greens, rich browns, and rusty hues inspired by durst, moss, and turning leaves. Incorporate greenery, branches, fruit, and wheat elements to play up the found-in-nature feel. Lush, inviting cut colors and textures create cozy vibes. 129% year-over-year 129 year -year increase in searches on Etsy containing natural wooden tea candle holder. Now that's a super specific uh, search right? But it, it brings in this whole theme of refined rustic uh, and the table bringing the outdoors in. Mix of eclectic and traditional. 
This year's festive aesthetic is all about layering. Instead of focusing on a single style, show shoppers how they can create a unique blend of influences for results that feel forged and fancy. When looking for styles to source vintage or inspire new products, consider arts and crafts movement florals, modern chin- <laughs> chinoiserie, uh, sorry if I butchered that word, <laughs> rustic accents, wicker and rattan pieces, and carved wooden details. Add to the mix heirloom status worthy pieces that can be personalized with initials or names. A 719% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing eclectic home decor. That, so that's a significant increase in that kind of uh, that search for sure. Versatile pieces, products with appeal beyond single occasions offer shoppers added value and tap into sustainable shopping priorities. Focus on items that span seasons like vases, candle holders, and accent pillows. Rely on patterns that have relevant relevance past the immediate moment, such as stars, mushrooms, or rustic greenery. Dried flowers and foliage have long lifespans, while warm, earthy shades create a cozy feeling not limited to specific holidays. Use photography to capture your offerings can be styled, or excuse me, use photography to capture how your offerings can be styled for festive moments and used past the winter holidays. 68% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing mushroom decor. Okay, so mushroom decor, this style has been kind of trending since, I mean, last year or maybe the year before, so that it's still increasing is pretty incredible. Vintage charm. Aged looks and well-earned character provide romantic festive vibes adaptable enough to work beyond December. When curating once-loved items or giving new products a lived-in look, Seek out copper, pewter, or other surfaces with a patina. Explore ornate antiques, gilded finishes, mirrors with imperfections, and candlesticks. A 16% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing antique decor. So that's great for the uh, vintage sellers. I'm also dabbling in the idea of offering um, a few vintage items in my shop this holiday season as a um, I sell personalized items, but maybe I can find a vintage item that would pair with it well. You know, I love this idea of kind of um, bringing in all the aspects of what people are looking for and tying it in with the items you already sell. So I'm thinking of uh, experimenting with that idea. Festive motifs, paper and party supplies sellers take note. This crew of characters could appear across greeting cards, advent calendars, and party products soon. Retro-styled Santas, Christmas chickadees, foxes, snowmen, and reindeer all prepare to frolic among winter foliage, including detailed leaves, mistletoe, and pine cones. Illustrations of houses, snowflakes, and snow-capped white mountains uh, paint the picture of a wintry wonderland. While holly, white poinsettia plants, and winter berries feel fresh. 42% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing snowflake, snowflake quilt pattern. Um, okay, and then next is handcrafted holiday. Items offering a hands on touch appeal to shoppers seeking meaning this season. season. Create a cozy feel by offering either DIY projects people can tackle at home with loved ones or by incorporating handmade markers like visible brush strokes. For an on-trend update, include natural materials like rattan or upcycled components. 24% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing kit DIY, and I'm surprised they're not talking more about this uh, in the trend report so far because I feel like these DIY project kits are always a great seller uh you know is it if if it's for gifting or for creating a um home art project with it with kids for the holiday decor or whatever it is winter weddings couples who once delayed their vows are going all in on hyper seasonal decor brides and grooms planning nuptials could opt for bright pink and green palettes as a refreshing nod to holiday with a modern palette 
Also, look out for rich fabrics and deeper shades and jewel tones. Etsy's color of the year, emerald green, was made for this moment. Inherently glamorous, this sparkling shade would be perfectly at home in a winter wedding color scheme. 114 year of percent year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing emerald green bouquet. All right, gifting trends. It's no secret that Etsy is the destination for thoughtful, can't find anywhere else gifts. The gifting themes below will reflect how shoppers tend to search the site when looking for the perfect gift. Goods for the home. Small home decor items like wall art, ornaments, candles make easy to go uh, make easy go-to gifts. As holiday hosting ramps up, expect to see interest in kitchen and dining products increase and stock up on items that can elevate any affair, like engraved cutting boards, special glassware, and ceramic mugs. A 336% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing modern candle. Fashionable finds. Cozy clothing and accessory items like sweaters, hand-knit scarves, and hoodies make lovely and practical gifts, while jewelry stands out in the gifting department thanks to its small, portable size and sentimental appeal. Offer everyday necklaces and earrings, as well as a few distinctive statement pieces for those looking to impress. 27% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing large statement necklace. Wellness kits. There's increasing demand for self-care oriented sets, both for self-gifting or giving to others, including kids and pets. The usual spa kit staples, soaps, bath bonds, teas appear alongside a glowing, growing group of wellness themed products. Think about offering items for quiet reflection, like meditation accessories and gratitude journals, a 30% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing care gift box, which honestly is incredible that that category is still increasing where self care boom was exploding in 2020, 2021, and that it's continuing to grow even into 2022 is pretty incredible. So that just shows you that that category um, is definitely looking for more people to create items for it. Gifts for keeping entertained. Puzzles for all ages continue to sell well, while items made to keep kids busy, like climbing gyms, coloring sets, and play kitchens, are always a smart move. Crafting sets remain key as people perfect their pandemic hobbies or explore new art forms. Elevate your game offerings with designs shoppers will be proud to display as decor. 45% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing board games. Gifts by recipients. Many holiday shoppers search for gifts with specific people in mind. Consider the following product, pop, <laughs> excuse me, consider the following popular recipient categories when designing your products and titling and tagging your listings. Gifts for her, him, kids, pets, pets. <laughs> okay, a little Freudian slip there. <laughs> kids, pets, and hosts. 14% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing birthstone ring mom. Popular price points. While budgets are highly individual, we do tend to see certain price buckets form perform well for gifts. When pricing your items, consider the following categories under 30, 50, 100, and over 100. Passion plays. Many shoppers search by recipient itself, focusing on gifts for wine lovers, coffee addicts, techies, or people who love getting cozy at home. Consider how themes like these can inspire some fresh festive offerings. A 43% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing soccer dad gift. Personalized items. Made-to-order and customized items are year-round bestsellers on Etsy, but really shine during the holiday season. Offer winning gift formulas such as personalized art prints or portraits, leather goods featuring engraved names and initials, and thoughtful everyday jewelry displaying the names, initials, monograms, and even handwriting of loved ones. A 142% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing custom photo keychain. Yeah, the... Um, they don't mention photo gifts in their little blurb there, but uh, photo gifts are really 
it's so popular. It is incredible. Um, Etsy doesn't make it really easy to sell photo gifts, but um, they are definitely a popular, popular thing. So if you're trying to think of how you can maybe um, create a unique product from something that you sell, if you can, if there's some way you can add a photo to it that a person sends you and you understand how to kind of edit the photo and, and change it. So it looks best on that product. Um, you know, that would be a great way to, um, broaden your, uh, your catalog. Imaginative scent vessels. This season scent helps a, uh, <clears throat> scent helps set a festive sensory scene. Think beyond candles to diffusers, solid perfumes, and incense. And when offering candles, consider contain using containers that appeal, appear highly giftable and take the place of gift wrapped or can be repurposed to reduce waste. A 34% year over year increase in searches on Etsy containing home scent. So they're giving you different ideas for candles. I mean, candles is another one of these categories like jewelry on Etsy. It's just like so, so many sellers sell these items, um, but they're giving you ideas of ways to branch from just selling exclusively candles, these other items. Gifts for goal setting. Shoppers typically, typically look to end of year, end the year on a positive note, approaching the new year with renewed zest for getting organized and tackling life ambitions. Help them out with products that motivate, organize, and energize, such as calendars, planners, and art featuring inspirational text. A 50% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing goal worksheet. Handmade gifts. Each year, crafty shoppers take things in their own hands with craft kits to produce homemade gifts. Offer sets for crafters of all ages and skill levels, focusing on candle making or wood carving kits, or timely DIYs for making festive ornaments and holiday card making. So 26% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy containing craft kit kid. And there we go. And I mentioned that earlier in the video that I was wondering about these craft kits. And there we go. They did mention it. So you uh, hope you enjoyed the trend report and you got some great insights. There's lots of information in here. If you're trying to figure out these, uh, they always suggest adding holiday tags to your listings. There's lots of information in here for just kind of pulling specific holiday tags um, and adding those to your listing if you're looking for some. They also also have a share your feedback at the bottom, a survey you can, <coughs> excuse me, fill out and share your feedback with Etsy about what you think about the report. Um, thanks again so much for watching and I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment below of how this report has helped you either in the past or is helping you make some decisions about your shop for this coming holiday season. Thanks again and have a great day.